Hello wonderful person, welcome back to What The Math, this is Anton and today we're going to continue our exploration of Stencil and continue making our game and hopefully you'll learn something else from this video, specifically uh, how to actually set up your level and how to essentially add scenes and make your characters and add them to that uh, particular scene. So uh, we kind of uh, created a, or added a background in the last video, we also added tile sets, which is actually enough for us to do everything we need. We are however missing actor types. So there really have any actors to add to our level just yet so in today's video let's actually create our main character i guess it's going to be a spacecraft uh and uh, this spacecraft is going to be our sort of like a main uh protagonist in the story and so here uh, currently we, it contains nothing but there's all these tabs you see on top these are will uh, actually deal with in one of the future videos especially this one which is essentially how you um Add all kinds of coding events to uh, to your uh, to your characters. Uh, so go to the appearance first, and uh, this is the first tab here. And we're going to basically add the animation because right now our character doesn't have anything. If you remember in one of the videos previously, we've made this beautiful spacecraft using Pisco, and so we're going to go back to that and add uh, four different frames to this character. Now, why four? Well, let's actually start with the first one. And so here we have our default position, we're going to add this, but also name this differently. This is going to be called, not animation zero, but it's going to be called up. And we will need this later on because uh, when we're creating a character, when we're adding behaviors, it will need to actually know what up is and how it looks. And so this is going to be up with capital U, we will need to remember this. Uh, next we have another animation and we're actually going to add four. Uh, this one is going to be known as down. This one is going to be left, and the last one is going to be right. Then uh, we're going to add specific pictures to them from the pictures that we made in the previous video. So there you go. So now we have up, down, left, and right. This is a, going to be our character with four of its directions. Uh, it's there. Each of them is also named because we'll need to define this later on. And uh, so our character is now added. We can save it. And there you have it. So we have our visual representation of a character. We're now going to go into scenes, and this is essentially where the level scenes are. So these are what you would call levels in an actual game. And let's create our first level. I guess we can call it level one, but at the same time, I'm kind of right now planning to only have one level. So we're just going to call it main level. You can define the width and the height and uh, essentially the, how many pixels uh, there is in each of the tiles. Because I chose tile sets that, are, that have 32 by 32 pixels, this is going to be 32 by 32. If your tile sets have different pixels, you may want to change this. And this is essentially the size of your actual um, window. If you remember, we chose it to be 640 by 480. And so if you multiply this and this, you'll get 640. If you multiply this and this, I believe you'll get 480. And so now all we have to do is create it and it will give you a new window that looks like this. All right, so that's essentially um, our level. This is what it's going to look like when we start the game. I can actually test the game right now and it will just have this white screen on it. Um, these are our tiles. Remember the tile sets we added in the last video? So that's where they are. These are our tile sets that you won't be able to cross. They'll be permanent objects. We'll create a solar system in here. Uh, but first we need to actually add a background. Remember we also have a background. So let's do that by clicking this plus button. New background layer and choose our background that we've previously added. And there you go. Okay, it doesn't actually look as pretty as I hoped, but for now, I guess it kind of works. It's not the most beautiful background in the world, but it's also not the, not the ugliest. Um, so let's uh, let's actually add a few things. So let's add a few planets. Oh, and by the way, if you don't actually see anything when you start editing, it's because your layers might be misplaced. You need to make sure that background layer is on the bottom because whatever is on top is the one that you see right away. All right, so here we go. So we're going to add a planet here. And I just actually realized that there's like a black border around my tiles and that's because it's actually set on the black background. Unfortunately, it's not a transparent background, which I didn't really realize at first. Um, but let's just add them and I'll show you what to do if you have this problem too. So here it's not a big deal because it's actually like in, you know, on a black background. Uh, all right, three is actually, I guess let's, let's add a fourth one. Um, but so what happens if you have a black border like this? So it's actually pretty easy to solve and there's a built-in uh, image editor that you can use. Go to tile sets again, select the planet that you want to edit, and here I can actually, uh, there's a button here, uh, edit, uh, edit frame, and then edit image, and it's going to open up pencil. Now pencil, you don't actually see the whole window, 
but now you do. All right, so Pencil is essentially a built-in image editor, and what you would want to do here is this. I'm going to use this magic wand to basically select all of this black stuff in the back, and it's essentially going to let me now erase everything that's not the planet. And it might, you know, it might take you a little bit extra time to do this, but now, now that I actually close this and save it, I have a planet that is now transparent and you see how there's no more black borders. It's not a big deal anymore. So that's essentially how you can do this using built-in tools. Super, super easy. It took me like a minute. Um, now, anyway, so we have our kind of a, you know, basic looking level with like four planets, probably not the best looking planets, not the best looking level either, but it works. Let's actually add maybe a station as well. I think I kind of like this one here. It's going to be right in the middle. This is where we're going to dock later on. And uh, so that's it. That's our level. This is what it's going to look like. This is essentially our first sort of introductory level. Or I guess you can call it main level. This is where we're going to start uh, with our character, with our ship. But we, of course, need to also define where the character is going to start. And so what we're going to do is there's another tab right here called actors. And we already have our one actor in here, our spacecraft. So we're going to take this and put it somewhere. Now, you can actually put more than one. Like, for example, if you have enemy actor, you can put a bunch of them around. But I'm just going to put myself right next to the station because that's where we're going to start. This is going to be our initial location. And so now that's really all we can do, um, or, or for now at least, in this particular video, because... Uh, I, I don't want to make this a little bit, I don't want to make it longer because in the next video we're going to talk about how to now uh, create an actor that can move around. I'm going to test this game just to see if it works. It's going to save everything and this should give me my working level where I will have everything. Now usually when you're compiling for the first time, when you're rendering this level, it might actually take a little bit, um, might take a little bit longer than, than usual. And okay, what's happening? Why are we moving? Yeah, there's actually something going on in the background. The background is actually moving and I really like it. I don't know why this is happening. This is actually kind of interesting. If you do know why it's happening, please let me know in the comment below. But this is awesome. I'm loving this. This is almost like we're flying. So anyway, so all of these are actual actors. You have a background in the in the back. And then you have uh, a, a planet, basically, an object that you can, can, you can collide with. And then you have a spacecraft that is going to be able to move around. So our initial level is kind of almost ready. We just need to now start giving our actor an actual code that it can use to, to move around. And so we'll talk about this in the next part. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully now you'll learn a little bit more about coding and making games. We'll talk about everything else in the next video. I'll see you guys later. Get you later. And as always, bye-bye. And by the way, if you actually want to know why uh, the background was moving, I accidentally typed the horizontal scroll speed in the uh, background properties. Um, so if you actually have this layer open, and if you click on edit this background, you will have this window where it says horizontal scroll speed. And I like it. I'm actually going to keep it this way. This was accidental, completely accidental, but it's going to kind of keep moving like that. Uh, and we'll just keep it for, for now at least. Anyway, see you later. Bye bye.